talking about trusty test light here. In gadgets number 115, we explored how uh, although these incandescent test lights will draw normally, you know, a couple hundred milliamps, that on initial contact, it could be as much as two amps and uh, disastrous around delicate electronics. Today, I want to have a little bit of fun and dive just a little bit deeper. I have two of those incandescent test lights, and they both have this tiled bulb, GE1893, which uh, measures cold 4.7 ohms. Of course, as that filament heats, the resistance will increase. And that's the goal of this video, is to measure that resistance ramp, measured in ohms. I'm going to dedicate channel 2 to measuring the voltage drop across that 1 ohm resistor. 1 volt across here equals 1 amp through the circuit. Channel 1 is going to be dedicated to measuring the voltage across the test light itself. I've set a rising edge trigger on channel 1. I've set the scope on single capture mode. And on contact, once the threshold of that trigger is met, a full page of 16,000 sample points will be captured. So I'm going to be very deliberate in doing this. There, I'm satisfied that I got a good capture. I'm going to save it and we'll have a closer look at it. HScope has a feature that allows us to adjust each channel individually. It allowed me to place everything here neatly on this screen. Very nice. I've introduced a math channel in here. It follows Ohm's law. So we have voltage divided by current is equal to our resistance. Channel one divided by channel two. And therefore the math channel represents the resistance of that bulb as it heats up, measured in ohms here on the left hand side on the scale. Very cool. So we started out, you know, close to five or so ohms and it gradually heated up until over here, we're somewhere closer to 40 ohms. And any of these points could be measured and coincide with the current at the time. And it would follow Ohm's law, of course. So I want to bring your attention to this, just like in gadgets number 115. Notice the large current ramp when the filament was cold, right up to about two amps, which gradually decreased as the resistance of the bulb, as it warmed up, increased. The reason I chose the HS402 oscilloscope to do this video is that. First of all, I just like to feature it. And being a plus or minus 16 volt input, it was able to handle the 12 volt here on channel one. And look at the HS402 large buffer of 16,384 sample points on the single page afforded by the HScope app. That's very impressive. So just because we're budget-minded here on the Gadgets playlist doesn't mean that we don't have access to some high-end features and some high-end capabilities. Talk to you guys soon.